Hi everyone, my name is Thomas de Soete and I thank you for being here at This Is Light, the first worldwide online product launch of modular lighting instruments. Today we present you three headliners. We welcome a comeback from the 80s. Our first headliner is Placebo, designed by the talented product designer Jeffrey Huygen. Jeffrey, he likes to experiment with geometrical shapes and the way they interact with one another. Passionate about design as much as the engineering side of things, Jeffrey is the mind behind the multi-awarded modular designs like Semi and Marble. Hi Jeffrey, how are you doing? Hi Thomas, good. You? I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. Did you enjoy your stay at the backstage so yeah, far? Yeah, it's been great, okay. really fun. Let's talk about the placebo. So where does the name placebo come from? Jeffrey, is it your favorite band or...? No, I, I actually hate, hate the bands. Oh, I'm uh, so glad you... Me too. I yeah? also hate, I hate oh. them a lot, really. Ah, me, yeah, me too. Overrated. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Okay, let's stick to the... the yeah, <laughs> but indeed, the name placebo, actually, it's the, the design uh, it's, it's like uh, the shape of a pill, but yeah. it's not really a, play, uh, a pill, just like the name, Brilliant. just like a placebo. Brilliant, yeah. And funny. Very funny. <laughs> funny guy. Okay, thought so. Yeah. <laughs> when did you come up with this idea? I uh, like a lot of my designs. Uh, I started sketching and, and really having geometrical shapes interact with each other. And uh, it's, it's uh, experimenting and, and placebo worked in a, that way. Like a, like a lot of designs I did. Mm -hmm. Placebo is characterized by its modularity. What does it mean? What, what are the possibilities? Well, within the concept, you have two main building blocks. So you have the LED unit, which you can use both down and up. Mm -hmm. And then you have four different types of glass accessories, also in up and down. And these two building blocks, you can combine by simply clicking them in each other. So. If you do the mat, you have four glasses, mm -hmm. up, down, and then even six different finishes. You really have a lot of possibilities to yeah. play around. Okay, cool. Looks good. And how much light is coming out of this luminaire? Uh, depending on the glass combination you make, uh, Placebo will give you up to around six, 600 lumens. Um, but it was really finding a good balance, uh, uh, having enough light, but also not creating a fixture that is too glary. We want to create a, a cozy atmosphere mm -hmm. because types uh, of products like these with the diffuse surface tend to get very glary very fast. And, and also the light, uh, the, the customer has a choice for 2700 and 3000 Kelvin. Okay, different uh, color temperatures. Then. Indeed. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Cozy lightning, so. Indeed. One thing I, I don't really get, the cable is running through the glass. Yeah, yeah, indeed. How um, does it work? Well, actually, we had a custom-made uh, LED PCB made, and um, the cable for the up version, the cable goes through it, guiding it towards the actually the small hole you see here in the glass. Mm -hmm. And uh, that combined with this hand-blown glass, it's actually three-layered glass, uh, makes that you have a very homogeneous uh, light surface. You cannot see the cable. No, it's, it's always oh, it's great. hidden because of that LED composition. Okay, cool. Upwards, downwards, I see uh, different uh, finishes. Yeah, and these, uh, we have like more standard colors being a, a black and a white structure powder painting. And uh, we also have uh, anodized and brushed uh, versions going from uh, black to silver bronze, champagne and bronze. And these are new colors in the modular range? Uh, no, they already been used in, in two other designs of mine, being Shelby and Timble, and you can also find them in uh, the minutes. So it makes Placebo very suited to combine in, uh, in projects. 
Okay, great. I'm a big fan already, Jeffrey. I have one question. I have a concrete ceiling yeah. and I hate drilling holes. I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, Is uh, there a solution for that? Yeah, sure. Uh, there are actually two types. You have um, a very minimalistic uh, solution that's small plate that is semi-recessed and it's available in black and white. Uh, therefore, you need to drill a hole and for mounting it, but also you can, it gives you the opportunity to slide your driver through that same hole into the ceiling. Okay. And then for your problem, there is a, a version where you have um, a volume that has the same design of, uh, of the body. And uh, within that volume, there is also a driver and uh, that's available in three types of dimming. And in terms of finishing, it always has the same finishing as the LED unit. Okay. Yeah. So what's your ultimate dream now? How uh, do you want an architect to apply placebo? Uh, good question. Um, you, you've seen that it's very modular. So I think placebo can really work as a standalone fixture. It can be to highlight uh, like a single object or you can really play with the duality of up and down in couples. But the moment you start using three or more, uh, you can play with different uh, heights, so they get very playful. Or you can really make like a, a graphical composition or build uh, a sort of architectural chandelier. Mm -hmm. You really have a lot of possibilities there. Okay, great. It was very nice talking to you, Jeffrey. Thanks a lot. Likewise. And enjoy your stay. See you next year, maybe. Thomas. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, my name is DJ Tom and my DJ set is based on my newest album called Marble. Marble is launched in 2015 by designer Jeffrey Heuge and is characterized by the soft organic design with a full flexibility and with a playful twist with an eye for detail like an ultra thin reflector edge, no visible screws thanks to magnetic features and this design is applied for multiple applications. Everything started with this surface mounted version, um, in the meantime available in one, two or three adjustable LED units and is offered in a broad range of color temperatures and dimming solutions. Marble recess represents the same flexibility but in a more subtle and integrated way. You have one or two LED units that are surrounded by a shell with a thin flange that can be recessed in your ceiling. By adjusting the spheres they are peeking out of the ceiling. It's also available as a suspended, fixed or adjustable version. The marble adjustable allows you to create more playful compositions. Marble can be combined with an aluminum, champagne or gold reflector. Uh, all of them available in three beam angles. Since they are magnetic, you can replace and change them easily. Our new marble 48 volt edition is not only an extension within this marble family, but also within our existing pista range. With this very thin and slim track rail, you can bring the lights to any spot in your room. The white or black track rail can create a nice play of lines that enhances the architecture of a specific room. You can keep it simple with one or more straight lines, or you can go creative and make the most remarkable configurations by using different connections. Spotlights can be combined with linear lights in one and the same configuration, up or downwards. And don't forget flexibility, you can change the position of your light anytime. Marble brings some more volume between all the miniaturized designs. Next to that, it also generates a nice powerful lumen package in three color temperatures. On top of that, by adding marble, we bring for the first time our worn dim technology to Pista. Today we launch our very flexible marble that contains its typical rotation and inclination and it's offered in two dimming solutions. Moreover, we also have the suspended variants offered in the same dimming. All marble track spots can be combined with the three colored magnetic reflectors. These marble novelties can be applied within residential hospitality but also retail applications.
for our second headliner, I'm happy to present you Como Corner designed by Dirk Wijnands. Dirk is a head designer at design studio DWDW and he's also the founder and art director of Extremis, iconic Belgian brand for outdoor furniture. Dirk's motto is to design something that looks both beautiful and obvious, but never thought of before. Hi Dirk, welcome at uh, This Is Light. How are you doing? I'm perfect. I'm glad to be here. Okay, great. This is Como Corner. Uh, I, would, I would like to know, can you tell us some more about what gave you the inspiration to, to develop this? Uh... Well, as always, it started with the frustration, with the discovery of a need. So you need problems to the de design. I'm a little bit old fashioned when it comes to design. Yes, I, I can't design something from nothing. I need to solve a problem to come up with, uh, with okay. good things. And I'm wondering what the problem was then. Well, we were renovating a house uh, at Lake Como in Italy. And um, the lower floor closest to the lake has a ceiling of only two meter 20. Uh, the other um, floors are really high, but that one two meter 20 and that's really, really low. So if you want to put some light somewhere, you can't put it on a ceiling. Uh, mm. I'm 190, so two meter 20, that's, that's not enough. So and I needed another place to have um, the, the source of the light. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to have some ambient lighting for the walls and also the ceiling. So the corner was the perfect spot to do that. And uh, we just made a very simple profile and hide the light in the corner on 45 degrees. And then yeah. we have some light going up, going down, and then you have a real nice atmosphere in the room. Are there different designs or extrusions uh, possible? With the visible parts, we offer two solutions um, because we want this um, lighting fixture to, to really integrate in, in, the, um, in the environment, in the interior. We decided to make a very simple one, a straight one, mm -hmm. but also and a little bit as a reference to the old molds that we have in old houses, we decided to make a curved one okay. that even integrates better in, into that uh, corner of wall and ceiling or two walls. Certainly, if you start painting this in the same color. Oh, you can also paint the... You the, the, can the, paint them, you can leave them like this. Uh, we offer them in a um, powder-coated version. But if you like them to become part of the environment, part of the room even more, you can paint them in the same color, like the walls or the ceiling. Just like that, on this, on this yep. surface. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. And that is the good thing about this here, that we create enough space in the profile oh yeah to hide all the technology it's that hollow, is needed. you can put it all yeah. uh, behind the frame so that was actually what determined the size of the profile was actually the amount of space that we could create inside what about the lighting technology that has been used in this case we use uh, two led strips uh, on top and on the bottom which can be activated separately but i think the most beautiful one is if you operate them at the same time we have them in different colors, in color temperatures, um, because also that is something that is, that is really important, I guess, to have the right uh, color temperature in, in the room. The newest technology in, in uh, dimming is the uh, Gasambi um, um, methodology, where we use the smartphone. Just with your, with smartphone, with your smartphone, you can control all these uh, different modules that we can integrate into the profile, which are completely invisible. Yeah. And if you look at it, I think you would never imagine that all this is behind that simple cover. Are they easy to mount? Well, I think uh, it can't get any easier than this, because uh, we have the choice to mount, to use one of the two sides to mount against one of the walls or ceiling. Mm -hmm. um, this is completely invisible because the only thing you will see is that little gap that we leave. Um, so we have this, this shape here uh, hid, hiding the whole profile. Mm -hmm. uh, we made it in a way that, that you, don't, you can't look into it too much. And um, the fixations that we can make here mm -hmm. um, are hidden by the profile itself. Yeah, okay. So that's... That's that looks easy. Huge, huge, huge advantage. Could, could, could mount them. Absolutely. <laughs> What's important is as well, you have two sides, so you can always decide which side is the strongest uh, and the best suited to fix uh, the profile. Certainly in renovations, that can be important, but also in newly built um, 
uh, constructions, there can be one that is more suited for that. Than the okay. Other. And where do you see the Como corner mostly applied nowadays? Well, it's certainly not designed to use uh, only in, in spaces that are too low. Okay. It's, uh, it can be used everywhere because this ambient light uh, is, is really nice to have in any space, whether it's, it's in, in your private homes or where you work, um, in hospitality. Actually, um, whether it's renovation or newly built, it's, it's always a very simple solution, very simple to integrate. So also uh, on cost, uh, this is the, the easiest way to solve um, a problem where you want to have ambient light in two directions. Um, the length um, can be adapted to any space. Mm -hmm. Best use, I think, is really from, from side to side, from corner to corner, uh, or from bottom to, to top, or even on a certain height uh, on the wall. Halfway the, the wall. Halfway the wall, yeah. depending on, on, on what um, height you have. But, you know, in the old days, they also had these uh, molds that they would place at a certain height and they would have one color going up until there another, and then another color yeah. um, departing from there. So also th this one here can um, be fixed uh, not only in that corner but even on a certain height where it can give you really nice uh, ambient light in all directions. Nice for the office, nice Perfect. For, uh, at yeah. home. Because um, it is really important to, to give a certain comfort to your eyes. The fact that it is indirect uh, yes. makes it more comfortable. The indirect light makes very, very comfortable. Uh, I won't say this will be the only light you need, but it gives you a basic lighting, which, is, uh, which creates a space that is nice to be, it, to be in. Okay, great. Thank you, Dick. <laughs>
Hi Bart, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Are you enjoying your own festival? Um, to be honest, I'm really busy trying to accommodate everyone, but so far I've heard good things. So yeah, yeah, you haven't seen any bands yet. I've seen one and I'm looking forward to see two, but okay. um, that's for tonight. Maybe later on, of course. Let's, have a, uh, let's talk about a beautiful uh, comeback from the 80s, Module Point. Absolutely. Uh, is reinvented, how would we call it? I would actually call it what is good. You don't need to reinvent, but you need to reinstate. Okay, I understand. So, which brings me to the question, when, when and by whom was it uh, invented uh, initially? Uh, th that's a good question. I actually have the image here, um, and I'll point out the man that did it. Well, it's actually a duo, Jan and Paul. Paul Romans was the founder of the company. Mm -hmm. um, and he started from a frustration that products were one. And he wanted to make products many, so that the people that bought it could have their own way and choice. So we built the module point, which essentially is a Lego system. Okay, and now there's a, a comeback of that mm. legendary uh, module uh, point system. Absolutely, so we, we kept the basics. Uh, I told Lego system, so it exists out of different blocks that you can intercombine. What is the comeback is this was based on halogen technology. We've now adopted it to LED. And with the huge trend that is called miniaturization, because LEDs get smaller, 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 mm. we were able to do the same with the module point. Okay, so everything is smaller now. It, it works like Lego blocks, the module point. Can, can you explain? Of course. So here I hold the rectangular base. This base holds all the technology and goes straight to the ceiling or the wall. There's also a round base, as you can see, and it can hold two, three different dots. These dots have their individual extensions, if you will, and then we have or provide a variety of designs. These come in various colors. The bases are black and white, typically for an interior. The spots themselves can hold up to six different colors. And then, of course, you already see the Lego existing. Then it's up to your creativity to match the right technology needs that you have with the beauty that you were aiming for. Okay, great. So there are a lot of possibilities. Then. You know, I, I have an engineering background. That's why I got into festivals, because starting building stages, but now we build luminaires. Um, pure mathematically, if you take all the options that we have, we're talking about tens of thousands different individual combinations. Okay, so that's, that's quite enough, I think. I would hope so. <laughs> Great. What's the big advantage, the strength of the whole module point system? It's a big ask to summarize that. Still the module points, you have the choice. It's LED, so it's energy efficient. It is sustainable because you can take out any block you need for maintenance or economical purposes, you can interchange just the one thing that needs interchangement. I can summarize the latest thing, of course, which is connected. These things are not only LED, but are now connected to the internet. Okay. So you can drive them from anywhere. Oh, so you can use your smartphone to dim them and Absolutely. You can use your voice, you can use your body, you can use your smartphone. Okay. Anything that can react and interact with the internet of things will make the module point work. So Bart, you, you mentioned uh, Paul Rommes, the founding father of uh, Module Point. How would he look at uh, yeah, reissue? I wouldn't call it a reissue, but, but uh, the... Reinstated Module Point. Yes. Well, first and foremost, he would be proud because this is the product that gave the name to our company. We are called Modular Lighting Instruments, which is actually derived from a marketing text that was written for the original one. Mm -hmm. The second thing he would do, as he always did, he would look at every detail. He would look on how the plate is offset, both at the back and the front, so that what is... Oh, this is a bit, the surface is a bit lower correct. here, make, makes it more correct. elegant. It okay. makes it more elegant, it gives it, although a robust volume, it gives it a floating ID in the space. Mm -hmm. Those things he would have definitely perceived and would have, would have, probably been over the moon proud if he was still here to see that we did a good job on what is essentially 30 years old idea. Yeah. So where do you think the module point will be applied most nowadays? I think anywhere. 
anywhere where people have eye for detail and beauty, anywhere where people really need connected smart lighting at home, but equally in an office, reception areas, meeting room desks, I can envision that in a hospital, equally there are applications where these modular spots can be applied. Well, thank you Bart, it was really nice talking to you. Are you going to stay uh, at your festival for a little while? Well, you, you gave it yourself, I'm trying to catch a, a performance, so okay. this was a, another chance missed, but I will run now. And it was nice talking to you, thank you a lot. It was my pleasure. Thank you Bart. Hi, this is DJ Tom for the last time. With SLD50 High, I present you a remix of a golden oldie. SLD50 stands for Slim LED Dedicated Linear Lighting Solution with a width of 50 mm. It was launched in 2016. It's not a standard fixture but a made to measure profile with a powerful lumen package and even the possibility to make it office compliant. Because of its neutral design, it's often used in retail, office, residential and hospitality. As a spin-off, we launched SLD50 Naked. With deep recessed lighting units and naked linear bulbs, this gives a more refined and architectural look and feel, and you can even play with colors. You can mount it recessed, with or without a flange in ceiling or wall. Surface mounted or suspended. Today we give birth to SLD50 High, the perfect combination of power of SLD50 and design of the SLD50 Naked, again with the possibility to make it office compliant. As mentioned before, all lighting units are deeper recessed. The outer profile and cover you can go for aluminum, black structure, white structure and champagne onodization, or you can upgrade to any other RAL color. The combination of the color and the deeper recessed units results in an architectural look and feel. For adjustable accent lighting, you have the eyeballs. Or for general lighting, you have the LED lines with diffuse or prismatic polycarbonate. You have three color temperatures and all available in three dimming solutions. The trimless profile can be recessed, suspended or surface mounted. The flange profile is specifically designed only for recessed insulation. Thanks to its high visual comfort, SLD50 High is suitable for offices but its refined and architectural design features makes it interesting to use in residential, hospitality and retail. Thank you everyone for staying with me during the first worldwide online product launch festival. This was This Is Light. Can I ask you kindly to fill in the survey? You find the link here. And in the meanwhile, stay tuned on social and hope to see you next year. Bye bye.